there stampers Tracy filter here with Tracy's ink spot I'm going to do a little tip technique trick for you today um, showing you guys a combination of um, some watercoloring based on a technique that we use that's called rock and roll um, so if you're not familiar with that te technique I will also let you know about that in just a second uh, today I'm going to be using our water painters uh, these are a three-piece set they sell for $12 you get a fine tip medium tip and a large flat brush and you can fill them with water or other types of items that you're going to want to use to color with so mine just has water in it today because um, like I said sometimes you can use uh, like the um, alcohol rubbing alcohol or something like that depending on what project you're doing different types of techniques you can do with these water painters but again today I am strictly sticking to water I'm going to be using the Sweet as a Peach bundle, and that is one that is currently in our retirement list for the 2021-2022 annual catalog. So if that's been on your wish list, you're going to want to be sure and snap that up before it disappears. All right, I made this card last week for my Win It Wednesday. Um, each, thir uh, each Wednesday, I post a uh, this or that image, and you guys take a vote on which particular item or designer series paper or color combo or whatever the this and that are that you want to see me use to make my next project. So I pinned the uh, Sweet as a Peach bundle versus the Sweet Strawberry bundle and the Peach won by just one little vote. Um, so this is the card I designed and then I pull from the comments and send it to, um, I pull a random name from the comments and then they get to win this particular card. So congratulations to Amanda Peterson. She's the recipient of the Sweet as a Peach card. So I wanted to show you how I did a little bit of watercolor technique to enhance uh, the already sort of watercolory effect of that particular stamp itself. Um, so one thing I like when Stampin' Up! does this is they add a little bit of light and shade and texture already into the photopolymer stamp. So um, when you stamp this even just in one solid color, you end up with a little bit of light and shade without having to do too much to it. And I wanted to take that a little bit of a step up. Now, if you're familiar with the rock and roll technique, what you would normally do is you would pick a light and a dark color, you ink up the stamp fully in the light color, and then you take the edges and you roll it around the ink pad while you're rocking it so you're not getting the dark color into the center, just around the edges, and then you would stamp with it. Now what I found with this one is that it doesn't really produce a great effect because the, the stamp is very thin, it's a photomolar photopolymer stamp so it's a little bit thinner and harder to get just that little bit on an edge or it gets too much and then you end up this just this, like this weird looking I'm not even sure what to call that so I did not like that <laughs> but I did want to have kind of a multicolored image uh, within what I was stamping so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna ink it up with the pale papaya this is one of them from the in color collection that we'll be carrying over for one more year so it's a really pretty light peachy color, obviously per per perfect for making peach stamps. Then I'm gonna take my Calypso Coral and I'm gonna add kind of like a rock and roll technique, I'm just gonna add just a little bit to the edge of the left side of the peach, okay? So if you can see, there's just that little bit of a dark happening right there. Now I'm gonna to try to blend it together with my water painter before I put it to paper. So just you prep your water painter. Once it's filled with water, you just give it a little squeeze. It should drip out a little bit. And I always keep a little paper towel handy just to brush that off. I want it to be damp, but not soaking wet, okay? And then using a little circular pattern, I'm just gonna blend right where that dark meets the light. Bring it into the middle a little bit. And I'm gonna wipe that off because I don't want too much dark happening. And then I'm just gonna keep going all the way over to my light side. So everything's got a little bit of a brush to it now. And let's take a look and see what that looks like. Now, what you're gonna find is that every time you do a technique like this, it's gonna turn out differently. Alrighty, so there we go. We've got some light, some dark, kind of all blended together. Now I'm gonna need to let that dry because um, I'm using just our basic white paper. And yes, you can watercolor on it, but you have to be very careful about how much water you use. If you really wanna do some, uh, like a lot of water watercoloring, like you've got a line art image that you're going to watercolor the whole thing, I would recommend using our watercolor paper. That's really designed to take the water well uh, without a whole lot of warping or anything like that. So I said after it dried, this is basically what I got. So you can see there's some light, there's some dark, and everything all over kind of just has a watercolored look to it. I did the same thing with the leaf stamp except I did it just in one color, and then I just took my, um, my water painter over it before I stamped so that it was all 
uh, whoopsie, let me pull it in the camera. There we go. So I just kind of blended out the whole thing so that it also had a watercolor look to it since I was going to be putting it directly close to that peach that I had already watercolored. Alrighty, well, thank you for joining me for this little tip and technique today. Um, hope you learned something and let's get out those water painters and practice, practice, practice. Because uh, like I said, it's going to take uh, a little bit of time to adjust to how much water you need, how much pressure to apply, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so again, play with that technique and see what you think. Thanks so much for joining me today. Bye now.